LDAP Domain Dump, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from the show and can spare just a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Hello and welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today we're going to be doing another outside of Metasploit episode. We're going to be talking about LDAP Domain Dump. Now this is a Python library that you can very easily install with pip. So let's install it. pip install LDAP Domain Dump. Yes, it's that easy. Now I've already got it installed, but you can see what it would install if I didn't have it installed. It's that easy. Now you can send this over Metasploit just like I talked about in other episodes with routes or, or port forwards or um, the Sox 5 or Sox 4A proxy. But we're going to talk about doing it just directly on the console. You can add proxy change to this and it'll work just fine. So let's see what we get just by using this thing. LDAP domain domain dump. So we got to look at the help. All right, so it wants a username with a domain or anonymous with a password. Okay, so let's do LDAP domain dump with a, with a user of sitting duck, not an admin. Password of pop, pop. easy stuff. And then just the IP address of the domain controller, 192.168.80.10. Connecting to host. Binding the host, starting domain dump. Now this is a small domain. This will take a little bit longer, especially over an interpreter session or, or stuff like that, but not that much longer. And let's look what we got. This is pretty awesome. That's a lot of stuff. So it's greppable HTML and JSON format of the domain computers, the domain policy, the domain trusts, the domain users, and domain users by group, domain computers by OS. So let's look at some of them. So Firefox, that's pretty amazing. So you can now tell, oh, that's a Windows XP box, or oh, that's a Windows 2003 box, probably vulnerable. The last time it logged on, wow, this was pretty recent. So it was created 2015, the SID, the description, and you have all these files. It's not like you have to query them again. Let's look at um, let's look at domain policy. Now this is the the password policy for the entire domain. So minimum password age, max password age, the password complexity turned on or not. Uh, minimum password length. This will give you good information about how to crack the passwords once you have them. This can be done as a standard at our user. So again, another tool that you can do as a standard user to gather all kinds of information, pull it down, look at it offline. Don't have to worry about um, doing this again. So let's look at something else. Let's look at, and I should just use an and for this kind of thing. Uh, let's look at domain users by group. So why do you think domain users by group would be important? And since you can't answer through the internet, let's this show. There's the administrators. You can click on domain admins. It clicks you down to domain admins. You get to look at domain admins. Look at all the domain. I'm a domain admin. Create a date, change date, last log on. Any flags that they have, don't expire password. This is great. Password last set time and their SID. Their SID's actually pretty important. That's one of the things that you don't get normally by just looking up uh, the information about a user. If you want to create a golden ticket or a silver ticket or any other Kerberos ticket, that SID is going to be important. Now that you have everyone's SID, you don't have to look it up anymore. You just have it with you. And of course, I didn't hit and to do any of that. So let's look at one more thing. One of my favorites is the domain trusts. So domain trusts. Now I don't, I don't think there's going to be any domain trust. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> so I had this domain trust. It's the research domain inside of my uh, test domain. 
It is inbound, bi-directional, outbound, within forest. That means it's a parent-child relationship. That means I can actually go from one domain to another. That's, uh, I think we've covered that. If not, we'll have to cover um, the Kerberos tickets that allow you to add SID history that allows you to get to another domain. If not, look it up. adsecurity.org is a great place for that information as well as subt at, at subtee on Twitter as well as Harmjoy and every other person that Matt Graber, everyone that's doing all this awesome research around Active Directory security. Um, Waldo, too many people to list. I'm sorry if I didn't list you as well. But this is an awesome tool. So domain, LDAP Domain Dump's a great utility to use whenever you want to just pull as much information as you can down. Then you can grab HTML, JSON through it and look at it later. So let me know what you think. Do you like these out of, outside of Metasploit episodes? Email me, msf at hack5.org, and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who supports the show. If you'd like to support the show and directly, go over to patreon.com forward slash movix. Every dollar goes towards making this show even better just for you. I'm very grateful for everyone's support. So until next time, I'm Mubix, and I'll be hacking till the cows come home. Thank you.